the fact that I have no makeup on must mean something. And for those of you who are not new to my channel, you know that no makeup on my face for an intro means that we have a tutorial coming for you. Today I'm going to be doing a full face makeup look, which is exciting, but I figured this would be the perfect time to do this one in particular because it's Valentine's Day, and Charlotte Tilbury recently made her limited edition Pillow Talk collection permanent, so you can get your hands on the entire Pillow Talk look, and I figured that I wanted to put together a video showcasing that for you, but because it's Valentine's Day, or Galentine's Day if you're like me and you're perpetually in a state of singlehood, you can still feel really, really attractive and really pretty with this gorgeous, gorgeous collection. You guys know Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite brands, so I'm very excited to bring this video to you. And without further ado, I am going to show you how to get the Pillow Talk look from Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk collection. Let's get started. I'm going to begin using one of my absolute favorite products from Charlotte, and that is the Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youthful Glow. I love this guy. I have the shade too. I just think it's an absolutely amazing highlighter. And I've been applying this underneath of my foundation or base products in strategic places as opposed to all over like I was doing before just because my skin's been acting a little weird recently and I just kind of don't want to emphasize any interesting points. So I've been doing this on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, as well as the center of my forehead, above my cupid's bow, underneath of my eyebrows, and a little bit on my chin. I'm using a Real Technique stippling brush for this. And I'm pulling it underneath of my eyebrow as well. I like putting highlighter right on the tip of my nose. I love Charlotte Tilbury, one of my absolute favorite brands on the entire planet. I think that our products are just really good and when I wasn't um, using like conventional beauty and I was just doing green beauty, it was one of those brands that I really missed. See, can't you just, don't you just love the glow that that gives? It's so beautiful. Look at that. You could go out like this and be fine, but I'm going to take it a step further and cover up because you can tell that I need a little extra love right now. I'm not using a foundation, partly because I don't have either one of her foundations. I wish I did, particularly the Light Wonder. Charlotte, if you're watching, hit me up. But I'm going to be using the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. The only downside to this, well there are two, is that the cap can be a little bit difficult to get off and it is a sponge tip applicator. Kind of nasty, but the product inside of this guy is so worth it. It basically sets itself and I can kind of use it all over. It blurs everything, it doesn't crease throughout the day. It's just pure magic. Haha, ha. I see what you did there, Charlotte. I see what you did. I have the shade number three in the concealer, so I'm just doing this underneath of my eye and a little bit down the side, right along my nose too. Right in that corner. And in that inner part of the eye as well, it's really important to hit. Just to kind of brighten everything. I'm going to use a Real Techniques brush to blend the concealer out. And I'm going to be doing the concealer in sections. So this is the, god, I don't even know, the base shadow brush. I like using a fluffier brush for concealer because I find that it really blends it out nicely and kind of smooths it over into any other products that you're using in conjunction. And Real Techniques are probably some of my favorite brushes. I don't have any of the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Again, I wish I did, but obviously any brushes you have work. I mean, you can even see right away the difference that this does for this side of my face. I'm going to move on to the eyes now, and I'm using the Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors on this. It's just so pretty. Really nice kind of pinky, peachy, brown colors that are really going to look great on blue-green eyes especially, but I really think that this is such a universal palette. I'm going to put the first shade in the palette, which is the prime shade, this one right here, all over my eyelid. I'm going right up to the socket line with it. 
So after I put the first layer down, in more of a sweeping motion, I'm patting the second layer so I can really build this color up and get a nice pop, even though that doesn't come till the end. And I do want to make sure that I'm winging it out slightly. I really like that cat eye shape, especially on my eyes, but with this look in particular, because we're kind of going for something a little bit more seductive, it just works a little bit better. Like I said, we're going right into the socket line with this guy. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. I'm going to take the next shade in the palette, which is the Enhanced Shade, this one right here. And I am going to put that kind of right above my crease on my brow bone. Um, I'm using a denser brush first, and then I'm going to go back out and blend it. I just really want the color to be down the first go around. So Charlotte Tilbury is one of my absolute favorite brands. I've said that so many times to you guys. I think just the products are really good quality and Charlotte herself has been around in the industry for such a long time that she really knows what she's doing in terms of formulating her products. Um, and the color ranges are really, really nice too. I know that she obviously did makeup backstage for such a long time and she still does. Uh, she recently did the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Um, but these products and this particular palette are just exquisite. Just using the side of the brush a little bit to just blend it and soften the edge so it's not too harsh. It's okay if it goes a little bit higher. We're kind of really going for that smoky bedroom eye, so don't be afraid to blend. I'm a big blender. I love blending. I think blending is your best friend. If you think you've blended enough, you haven't, so keep going. <laughs> That's my tip of the day. You think it was enough, go back in, because it wasn't. All right, so we're going into shade three, which is the smoke shade, which is the one on the bottom. Now the smoke and the enhance are both matte, and then you've got a little bit more of a slight shimmery sheen in that prime shade, and then obviously the pop is super, super glittery. So I'm gonna go ahead and end with the smoke. And I'm using a little bit more of a precise brush here. And I'm just going to focus that right on the outer portion, pulling upward. Again, because I still want to stick with that cat eye shape. Just kind of pulling it down. Right across in a diagonal line. I'm using liner in this look, which will come after this step before I do the pop, because I definitely want that glitter to be like super glitzy and glam. I'm a eyelash curler, I love curling them. I really think that it helps, at least with my lash style. I know some people don't need to. Um, I tried extensions before in terms of lashes, and they just weren't my thing, so. I need the lash curler just to really lift after I toss them off to the side, I'm sorry. And after I do that, I'm going to take eyeliner, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Eye Powder Pencil, and this is in the shade Audrey. And yes, it's Audrey for Audrey Hepburn. She's my... Oh, I love her. I'm going to do this liner in a cat eye shape because I am going to smoke it out just to really stick with that really sexy, sexy kind of look here. So what I like to do for my liner is a feline flick is what Charlotte calls it. And we have the same kind of technique, so I like to do a dot, kind of where I want my line to be. I just pull out from there. So I like to draw the line first. And it's just a continuation of the lower lash line. I'm very fortunate that with like my eye socket, it does this weird thing where 
it kind of naturally shows me where I want that line to be. Uh, it's not like that for everybody. If you are fortunate like I am, <laughs> congratulations. I like this liner. I haven't tried the Rock and Coal yet, but I'm very interested to see how that performs. Especially because it's a little bit more creamy than this one, whereas this one's more of a drier pencil. And if you need to, just to kind of like sharpen up your lines, Go in with a clean, very precise brush and do it. I'm going to go back in with that smoke shade. Just start to smoke out my line a little bit here. Not too much because I still want it to be defined but just enough to soften the edges. The second shade we used in the palette, which is the Enhanced shade, and I'm gonna take a brush similar to the one that I used in the beginning, and I'm just going to run this underneath of my eye, just so we're not too top heavy, but also because, why not? Why not? Sorry, you guys don't wanna hear me sing. Not the best. You guys can see just how pink that this pulls on me. I still think that it's really pretty though. Definitely makes my blue eyes pop. And I think I'm actually going to take a little bit more of that Audrey pencil and do it right along my outer lower lash line. just to connect the flick. Something. And I'm gonna soften it too. Don't worry, you guys are getting so anxious. I'm just gonna use that same brush just to kind of soften the line a little bit. I personally like having a little bit right at the outer corner. I know some people don't. Personal preference, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's up to you. It's just something that I like. It's time for the best part. Literally, my favorite part of all of the eyeshadow palettes is the pop shade. This particular one is such a gorgeous, rosy, goldy, brown, Hi, just <laughs> my emotions are so intense right now. I'm gonna use my finger for this and my ring finger because it's gonna apply the least amount of pressure. But the warmth from your fingertip literally just makes this look phenomenal. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Phenomenal. I'm gonna do this right in the center and in the inner part. I don't wanna go too far out. Look at that. Oh my god. You guys could see this in person. I'm sure that it looks completely different on camera than it does in person, but like, it's so pretty. You guys have no idea. I love glitter. I'm such a glitter junkie. And then on a smaller, little bit more detailed brush, I'm going to take the first shade that we use, which is the enhanced shade, and just do that right in the inner corner of my eye. Just to really highlight in there. Bring light to the darkness. This is my face. And I'm pulling it down on that lower inner part too. So going upwards in that inner corner and then down a little bit always highlighted that way. I don't know why. I just feel like it really brightens that inner part because I get really dark there naturally. I actually am going to take a little bit underneath of the brow bone. Just a little bit. 
It's a little bit on the peachier side and I don't want too much of that there. For mascara today, I'm going to be using the Full Fat Lashes 5 Star Mascara. It is in glossy black, probably... I love black mascara. It's probably the best thing in the entire planet. If you've been with me on my channel from the beginning, you know that Full Fat Lashes was my OG go-to mascara. It is a holy mascara for me. It's just so beautiful and does wonders for my lashes. It really separates them and makes them super, super fluffy, which is my kind of go-to lash aesthetic. <laughs> I love a good fluffy, glossy black lash. And this does that for me. So I apply my mascara, I wiggle it at the root, I pull through, and then after I do that, I just kind of do the old school blink, especially right at the tips, because I have really long lashes, they're just super, super blonde at the top, so I really have to make sure that I hit right on the edges. Next, I'm going to be using one of the very first Charlotte Tilbury products I ever purchased, and that is the Filmsta Bronze and Glow, and this is in light medium. Now, a funny story. So, the first time that I purchased this, I was in New York, and I went to Bergdorf Goodman. I got it, and I came all the way home to Delaware, and they gave me the medium dark instead of the light medium. And let me just tell you, they are two completely different colors. So this is light medium. I am using a Real Techniques brush for this and I'm going to follow the hello and bronze my face with it. It is probably one of my favorite bronzers ever, aside the fact that it's Charlotte Tilbury. I just also think that it works really, really well for my skin tone. So my hollow is here. And I'm going upwards onto my temple and in my hairline with it. I'm following my hollow first. It's because it's the sculpt, so it's the bronze sculpt and glow, the hollow thing obviously is bronzing your skin, but it's also giving you a subtle contour. So that's why you follow your hollow. Fix my hair at the same time. It's fine. Do a little bit right under my chin, and along the side of my nose, and then right across it, and then hit the cheeks as well. I'm using the stippling brush that I used before for the Hollywood Flawless Filter to do this, and I'm picking Swirling my brush in the product, getting a nice dusting. I'm tapping off the excess because this is such a glowy highlighter, which is why I love it. But I'm doing it on the tops of my cheekbones and underneath the brow. I love this highlighter though. I love Charlotte! Who am I kidding? I'm doing a little bit above my lip, down my nose, center of the forehead as always, the chin, anywhere where I want to glow. I actually like glowing towards the center part of my face. I know some people don't. Um, I do. I'm sorry. I do like to hit my nose. I'm right in between my brows. The most important part of this look would be the Pillow Talk lip liner and lipstick, and I'm going to line my lips and put the lipstick on, but I'm not going to talk because that's going to be really awkward and then I'll mess up and that'll just be a mess. So, lip liner. My Pillow Talk lipstick is a little mini Sephora 100 point perk because they had these a little while ago and it's still the shade Pillow Talk and they were 100 points like I said and I got four of them because you can just throw them in your purse and they're precious. I I don't know what to tell you. I couldn't resist. Could not resist. There's an airplane. I 
This would be the completed Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I just want to say really quickly um, that I haven't felt this confident and this attractive in makeup and in a makeup look in a really long time and I think that that just speaks to Charlotte's products and the brand um, because when you find something that does that for you, you obviously just can't stop using it, especially when you're like me and you don't feel that way about yourself very often. Uh, but I digress because that is a completely different topic entirely. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you want to see next as well as what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury products are because I'm curious. I want to try more um, even though I've pretty much tried everything. <laughs> I love you all so so much. I hope you have a fabulous week. Subscribe if you aren't already because then you can keep up with the rest of us and we can stay in contact because I love you guys so much. I keep saying that. Uh, it's just it's that month. It's February. There's just so much love going around. I will see you all in my next video and I hope you liked this tutorial. Bye!